Hey, 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 what's up everyone? It's Kaz with State of Decay Breakdown, and we are continuing our ongoing series on level 11 of Breakdown. And for those people who don't know too much about the history of my game, I have been playing this same game since the first day it came out. That was November 29th of 2013. And, you know, I'm only on level 11, but there's a reason why. Uh, the f when I first started playing Breakdown, it had a lot of glitches in it. Um, it was kind of released in a broken state. So for the first month, I stayed on level 1, uh, just getting everything, scavenging, building a lot of munitions, and waiting for the patch. Well, it seemed like after a little while, uh, after a month or so, there was no patch. Um, you know, I didn't want to go to the next level until they patched the game, because it was really broken, and then I figured out that they're not going to patch it. And honestly, they didn't patch it for like seven months. So I spent level one a month, level two I stayed for a very long time, and my thought process was, I'm not going to play it in a run-and-gun fashion. I'm going to play it in the way that it was intended. It was intended to be played you, you scavenge everything on the map, and when you run out of resources, you take the RV to go to the next level. That has how it was pitched. That's how it was um, intended. But in the meantime, I'm watching people just build the RV, go to the next level. Build the RV, go to the next level. That's why you have people with level 50, level 60, level whatever, because they didn't... They, their idea was, oh, I want to get to the next level as soon as possible. Well, I was trying to play it as a long-term survival game. So I would just uh, stay on one level until everything was gone that I could possibly have. And I w would move um, home bases and do that. So that's how I was playing it. Well, that looks to, to the, you know, the casual player or the people who are watching my videos as I just started playing, but I have not. I have been playing this game for seven months. Um, the idea was that I was going to scavenge everything on the map and then move to the next level. And that's the way I've been playing it. So uh, other people were just um, go to one level, get a home base, fix the RV, go to the next level. And that's how it seemed the majority of people were doing it because um, some people think that the higher the level the better they are well I've looked on the internet and I've seen some people who are like level 12 to 20 and they don't know how to play the game because all they've been doing is fixing the RV and going on to the next level so I have found quite a few people with YouTube playthroughs who were just fixing the RV going to the next level they didn't know anything about the game they didn't know how to do any high-level stuff they had no munitions, nothing. And then when they get to the higher levels, they realize there's a lack of resources and just no ability to build all of your resources. So if you look at my supply locker, and we'll go take a look at it, and people have been mentioning this quite a bit. If you look at my supply locker, you will see that I have quite a bit of things like homemade painkillers, um, Pipe bombs, flame fugas, but uh, more fool me because it wasn't for seven months or six months or so before they finally patched the game uh, with the release of Lifeline. So in that time, what I really did was just stay on one level and I mean, I honestly would stay on a level for a couple weeks. I wish I could say I know what you're going A couple weeks. Um, I, I, could be I believe level one I stayed on for like a month and change. You're kind of a hero. So, Thank you. oh, missing survivor. But I, do what I, can. I forgot all about the missing survivor. So let's go in here and, and find her. Uh, we're in a safe area, so we don't have to worry about getting sw uh, swarmed. Anybody in here? Come on, where are you? Just come out, come out, wherever you are. 
Nope. Maybe in the front room? So that's my story. Um, it's the reason why I'm only on level 11, but I'm a very advanced player. I just didn't do the run and gun. I had no intention of doing the run and gun. I was in it for long-term survival. I was, uh, I was planning to play it uh, the way that, you know, it was explained to me. You know, it's like when you play State of Decay, here's what happened. You can play it in sandbox mode, the original game. But eventually you're going to run out of resources. And that's it. The game is over. You can't do anything anymore when you run out of resources. So Breakdown was pitched as when you do run out of resources, like in the original game, you take the RV and you get a new map with, with uh, replenish resources. And that's the way I was playing it. So it may look... Consider this one searched. It may look like... Um, I haven't progressed a lot of levels, but I've put a lot of time into this game. Uh, many, many months. I've played it since the first day it came out. So, and this is the save, the same save game and the same survivors. I did not restart the game, reset the game, do anything, restart over, nothing. This is the same bunch of people from day one. So, I'm very proud that I had the longevity of this game. And that I, I, I maintained my people, and I kept them alive and happy and healthy. I'm, I'm very, I'm very proud of that. Uh, that may not come through in my videos, but I have a lot of emotional attachment to people like Hannah, and Evan, and the rest of my crew because they have been with me for a very, very long time. So, enough about that. Let's go and find Hannah. I think it is. Who is one of my Hello? primary survivors? I found her very early on, Thanks. and she is my she's my Guess girl. Up What's up, babe? Come on, let's go. Grab it. And I've been through a lot of changes to this game. Uh, the last two patches have completely uh, changed the game as far as spawns and uh, difficulty levels and the way that the AI works and all of that good stuff so it has been quite a journey for me and um, if you've been watching with me you'll see that I take really good care of my people here we are okay that's all we needed because they are important to me they've been with me a long 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 time I can't thank you enough. all right so there's a bloated Zed and the cul-de-sac is always a scary place, um, especially at night. But during the daytime, it can it can be um, kind of daunting as well. But let's get in there and take care of this bloater mission. All right. And uh, if you've been hearing about my trials and tribulations, I've been having recording problems and technical problems and Xbox 360 problems and. It's just been a really, really bad way to go in these last couple of days and in the last couple of weeks. So I'm just happy that um, I'm able to continue posting and my Xbox is still relatively stable. And I can bring my playthrough to you guys still. Alright, so he's in here. in trouble. So we'll do a quick spin. Another quick spin. And that takes care of him. Psst, hey, Ian, what's up? Get moving. Lead on. Let's go. We're going to get a bloater. I like heavy weapon powerhouse. I think heavy weapons powerhouse is a really good combination for those people who are just learning the game, a heavy weapon powerhouse is one of the best combinations in the game. I think he's in there, so... Just gonna soften him up. Yeah, he's definitely in there. Right? Yeah, there he is. That's a problem, though. That's a problem. 
I'm out of ammo. Nuclear bloater. Watch, he's gonna explode. Nuclear bloater, come on, explode. Fucker. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ian, come on. Come on. Found it. Batter up, bitches. <laughs> Fuck. That, you know, uh, that's terrible, guys. That's that was amateur move. I have no ammo. How? Uh, I'm disgusted with myself, really. I really am. All right, let's go. That gets people sick, and uh, it's just not the optimum way to take care of things, you know. Pit. Uh, I really should pay attention. I will just take ten at this point. We might be able to hold off another attack Shit. if we're lucky. You know what's awesome? Outposts. outposts. Yeah, I know. More. Almost out. I got enough outposts, Lily. So shit up. Got enough outposts. I got enough everything. Oh well, that reminds me. Come on, let's go do this. Anything else that I have to do right now? No. Let's go up to Fairfield. Uh, do I want to take... Alright, let's hope that we don't flip another truck. Fairfield's kind of scary. But we're going to head up there and... Remember, Fairfield was where we flipped our truck last time. But I guess it could happen anywhere. It wasn't necessarily because we were in Fairfield. It was just... The truck flipped. Right? And uh, if I'm lucky, I can get up there and make an outpost so we'll head up there as quickly as possible yep there's a station wagon that I dropped off over there and there should be a rally car here yep and as you can see I know where mostly all of the cars are there's also a piece a pizza car here look there's a pizza car yeah, because I, I've got the I've got the vehicle out, uh, the the vehicle locations down to a science. I think I've scoured the map looking for vehicle locations. All right, so here's where we need to be, right here. Let's clear this out. Get out. Right. Get in here. Anyone in here? That's it. That's all we got here. Come on, come on. Come on, this might be all there is in here. Still got some stuff to take care of out there. You may need to yep. hurry. But that's okay. Need to push back the zombies first. Okay, no problem. We'll do that. We'll wait. Now? Let me see if I can make this place safer first. Uh, come on. Come on in, guys. Oh, search and rescue. Times are getting rough. Times are getting rough. And of course, when I come up to Fairfield. Come on, buddy. Come on, guys. I need to put an outpost here quick. Close the door. Come on, you fat bastard. Okay, so now outpost. Need to push back the zombies first. Shh. You're annoying me. You are annoying me. <coughs> this better be the last one. So we 
still got some stuff to take care of out there. And time's not exactly on our side, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Lily. On second thought, hold off. This place ain't safe. Get off. <laughs> this is getting frustrating. I'm 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 getting frustrated now. Very secure. No Zeds here. Yeah, I think we could hold this place. Finally. Yeah. Sure you want to go through with this? Yeah, I'm pulling this. Lily, don't question my decisions. Alright? Okay, so here's the locker. We will put this in and get the crusty shovel. Yep, and I'll put that backpack in. And the ibuprofen. And we'll take out some fire. Because we always need fire. Alright, and let's see what this... Yeah, this, this will block off this little area, which is good. That'll allow us to come back. But for now, we need to do a friend in trouble. Search and rescue in the haunted barn so let's do that while there's still daylight but daylight seems to be rapidly fading so let's get over there as soon as possible let's get over there to the haunted Herschel barn and we have some time left in this episode so we can squeeze this in and get it done hopefully without too much incident but uh... who knows who knows? The way that this game has been going, who knows? Alright, and... We might be able to come around the back way, right? If we go down here... Yeah, we can probably come around the back way. We're going to try a different route. So let's see if this gets us there quicker. Fat Bastard is there. Maybe I might come get that station wagon, no? Is there a quicker way to get there? I don't think so. I think I may have just shot myself in the foot. Yeah, I, there's no quick way to get there from here. So let's... Let's just go the normal way. Oh, that was terrible. Alright, uh, we're on our way. Let's get to the haunted barn. I like to call it Herschel's Haunted Barn. It's the barn that has zombies in it. Here we go. Alright, so we'll get up there quick. And that doesn't mean that they're in this barn, but it, it could be. It could very well be. Come on, where are they? There they are. Hello? Oh, thank God. Come on, Sophie. Let's get moving. Let's get out of here. I'm done here. That was quick. No fuss, no muss. Sophie, why are you being such a, a, a little punk? Why are you being a punk? He's such an excellent survivor. Let's go. I don't even care about that. I don't even care about that horde. Let's get home. Let's get you into safety. Good stuff. Alright guys, well, uh, as we're going home and ending the episode, I just want to say that uh, you should check out on my um, YouTube page, my State of Decay Affiliates. These are people who are also doing Breakdown and Lifeline and the original State of Decay. So you should go and check out their playthroughs because they really have some exciting playthroughs with different playstyles and, and all sorts of good uh, ways to play the game. Uh, some, some of them are much different than the way I play. So you should check them out and give them a look and give them some love. Tell them that Kaz sent you. 
that's it for me, everyone. This is Kaz signing off. Take care. Peace.